Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Darren and in today's video, we'll be taking a look at some of the underdogs of Shadowlands so far. The beta is an ever-changing beast and every Wednesday and or Thursday, there is always an update for the beta, which does shift around the classes quite a bit. But I still wanted to give you guys a bit of an idea of where some of the specs in the game are. A lot of you guys have asked me what are the most popular specs, but I feel like no one asks what are the least popular. Who are the current underdogs of Shadowlands so far and how are they performing currently? Are they actually as bad as they are or are they playable just not as popular as the other counterparts? In today's video, we'll be taking out some of the least played specs in terms of some data based on the amount of parses and the amount of people trying out these specs for raiding in general. Now this list is mostly for the raiding content of the game, from the people that did get to play the raid testing. Everybody gravitates to the most popular and the most efficient specs, not a lot of people really play the inefficient ones. So in this video we're going to take a look at the guys that got the least amount of play. For one reason or another, the top tier raiders thought that maybe these guys didn't really deserve a break. First spec on this list we're going to have is Demonology, which is a spec I actually very much enjoy playing. Demonology has been quite a lot of fun and the changes from Demonology from the old school metamorphosis to the summoner of pets has been a very interesting transition. But I felt like they really nailed the spec and the idea behind it can be FA. However, with the recent changes so far in Shadowlands, Demonology just hasn't really gotten that much play in terms of rating. There's just not a lot of people really picking up the spec. At the time of recording the data too, a lot of people were trying out the Affliction and Destruction, which of course have some insane synergies with Covenant abilities. Anybody remember the Necrolord Drain Affliction Warlock build? Yeah, that was pretty busted. But for Demonology, there must be other reasons as to why it's just not as picked as often. I think one of the biggest things that would really hold it back, no matter how good the spec is, are going to be the pets. You're having to deal with NPCs to do the job for you. All you're doing is summoning them and then kind of hoping that they actually do stuff. A million times have I seen a tyrant just stand there aimlessly looking at a mob or at a boss, not doing anything but twiddle with their thumbs, drool leaking out of its mouth. So these pets generally are not super smart, sometimes they do really dumb things. But when it works, I feel like Demonology is a very powerful spec. In fact, I feel like for Shadowlands, they really do have potential to be an AoE powerhouse, primarily Mythic Pluses and in arrays that include AoE fights. I think there's a lot of potential and some of the legendaries they have to work with are very interesting. I feel we're gonna see more of Demonology going forward, but so far not a lot of people have given them a true chance. The next spec on this list is gonna be a Feral Druid. Now Feral, I can kind of understand why it's here. Out of all the different specs that have gotten around to playing on the beta, whether it is playing on BFA or in Shadowlands in preparation for the next expansion, I try out a variety of different classes and builds. And I have to say the Feral is one of the harder classes to play. I feel like a lot of the classes over expansions have become mechanically less needy and less challenging. I mean something like Subtlety Rogues can just blast out Shadow Strikes and Eviscerates without really too much concern for rotation or for lining up cooldowns. Things just kind of tend to fall together. But for a Feral Druid, I feel like there's a lot more care and need is necessary when it comes to playing and picking up this spec. I feel like the energy regen is a little bit punishing, the lack of crits can be quite bad with alleviation from gear, but the general playstyle and being able to play it is really down to being able to make the right calls, and one misstep can really ruin your setup, as a Feral can really fall behind in damage if you don't play it correctly. At least Blizzard does skip some of the specs in the game that are difficult to play. Now, of course, it probably is because Feral just simply hasn't been able to shine or play as easily as some of the other specs, as the specs with the least amount of buttons and the less challenging rotation with the most amount of results generally tend to flow to the top. I really wish Blizzard would turn it around. But also, with the balancing early, Ferals might receive a massive buff going forward, and maybe with gear and certain builds that might end up being spectacular, but definitely one of the things that is going to be a hurdle for a lot of people is the challenging playstyle. The next class on this list is a Fire Mage, and what a long fall from grace that was. 
Fire mages are not terrible, and none of these specs on this list really are, but fire mages are simply not as popular as arcane was at some point, or frost, and especially with frost legendary getting nerfed, I wonder if a lot of people are really giving fire mage another look-see. Now fire did go through a couple of weird changes, first of all there was a change to your ignite, where yes, Blizzard gave you back your phoenix flames, but now you can only spread your dots without natural cleave rather through phoenix flames itself giving you a lot more buttons to press in general, making your rotation a lot more complicated. And without the uses of all those trinkets and essences, it does become a whole new beast to play with. I think Fire is still going to be a standard big pyroblaster master in this next expansion. However, I don't think a lot of people will be gravitating to it like they do right now because of its potential and ease of play. As long as you were able to get the big buster combo during your rune of power, that's all you really need to know about Fire Mage, at least to begin with and start really slamming out some big damage. But in Shadowlands, you're going forward without any of those niceties at your beck and call. So it's still going to be, I think, a decent spec to play with and people that enjoy Fire are still going to get a pretty big kick out of it. But currently, as the spec stands right now, just not a lot of people have given it a true shot. Speaking about True Shot, we are going to talk about Hunters. You would think with that joke I would be talking about Marksman, but no, they've been doing pretty good. Let's talk about the Survival Hunter, the red-headed stepchild of the family. Survival has been in a weird spot, I think, since the beginning of Legion. Ever since Blizzard made Survival from a range spec that was all about dot management with Black Arrow and Explosive Shot, down to a melee class with a bleed and dropping down caltrops and grenades, which was a very interesting idea. Uh, turned in BFA into a more simplified version of the spec. And going into Shadowlands, it's staying mostly the same version of simplified spec, minus all the niceties of Azerite traits. I think Survival has been one of the better specs for PvP, and while it's on this list as a less played spec for mostly raiding part, the PvP aspect of Survival is actually quite strong, and the amount of things you could do as Survival in PvP has been quite spectacular. I mean, look at the duels. But in terms of PvE, in dungeons, as well as in raids, the spec just hasn't really drawn a lot of people. The first argument for many would be, well, if I am going to play a Hunter, I might as well play the range version. I can sit at a distance, which is safe, and do a lot more mechanics. But also, the rotation for survival has been a weird one, and have drawn only a set few people. It's not that it's difficult, it's just it's very particular. With the lack of changes that this spec has gotten for the next expansion, I wonder how it will really survive the Shadowlands. Finally, we have ourselves the Arms Warrior. Now this one has gone through quite a lot of changes which I felt were really really good. The mastery change to make you less about bleed, more about the big hit, was a great change for arms. To make it more about bursty damage, big executes, massive mortal strikes. But I feel like this is just one of the specs that really benefits from gear heavily. If you have to play Fury Warrior or Arms Warrior with very basic gear at the very beginning of an expansion, Arms Warriors generally tend to scale very well late game. But I think it's just scaling without enough haste in order to back up the playstyle is something that's simply going to hold it back. I mean, Blizzard could buff it out of nowhere tomorrow and it could be insane, but so far, Arms has been on the backside in when comparison between Fury and Arms. In fact, most Warriors are actually okay between playing either spec. Not a lot of people are really super particular of playing one specific playstyle. But for those of you that are, I think Arms is going to wait a little bit before it really starts to ramp up. But of course, we are still in early beta, there's still a lot of tuning to be done. And that's going to be all the specs that I have on this list. I wanted to highlight these specs as underdogs in hopes that maybe we'll see some of the changes for these specs going forward. We still have quite, I don't even know how many updates for the beta, but I would think quite a lot, as we still don't know when the release date will be moved to for Shadowlands itself. It is supposed to be the 27th of October, which I think from here on is about two month, two weeks from now. So hopefully it'll give Blizzard enough time to adjust the trajectory with these specs and try to make them better. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below what you think about these specs. And I'll see all of you guys in another video.